Hey everybody, uh, welcome to an icy morning. You can see we still have snow on the ground here in uh, Colorado. Um, it's about 30 degrees, so it's not too bad. <laughs> but uh, I'm used to working in this kind of weather. Um, so I wanted to do a quick update um, since it's been a while. Um, I haven't really had a lot uh, to show you because I've actually changed jobs and so that took up the majority of my week um, but we still have been working on the project um, so let me show you what we've been up to so obviously uh, the big thing is sanding so this is going to get another coat of epoxy um, we're sanding it down still still got some ways to go on it um, and uh, to get it all nice and flatted off so that it, it uh, looks really good. Um, so we're going to be uh, working on this. This one's going to take a while because there's a lot of little nooks and crannies and um, we have to fix little things like this where you can see there's bubbles in the epoxy so we're going to have to get in there with a Dremel, Dremel that out. Um, we have the passenger side. Um, quarter panel which is uh, now flatted off we have to take care of some of this uh, runny stuff I have to wait for it to warm up or else my air tools get a little jammed up uh, so this is getting very close to uh, getting its uh, 2k coating um, the other thing that we're working on is the exhaust tips so um, I fashioned them up so that they fit in the catalytic converters We'll weld those up and they'll fit in here quite nicely. So we're going to be TIG welding um, those all together um, and fabbing that up. So, And then the next thing is, is I'll show you uh, where we are on the panels. So this is, <laughs> this is my finished panel room and uh, as you can see the driver's side panel has the clear on it. It's going to need to be cut and buffed and uh, most of the panels will but we'll do that <clears throat> when they're all on back on the car. So it's actually looking pretty sweet. You can see there's a little bit of orange peel but not a big deal. Um, that'll come off when we cut and buff it. And then uh, I think you guys have seen this one which is the rear deck. So that's two down. Um, a lot more to go. That's probably looking at uh, 23 more panels. So we're going to just be uh, cooking these out and uh, try to uh, get them done. Got the risers for the uh, rear wing. So those are going to get sanded soon and coated. This is the bottom of the rear wing. So we're getting its uh, final coat of epoxy on it. Uh, the nice thing is, is that it's going to allow us to uh, shape the wing so that it has more surface area on the bottom. So it has the desired effect of an inverted wing, which will give us some downforce. So that's uh, getting finished up, and then we'll start sanding that down. Now one of the other things we've done is on the tail lights, we had this which was kind of a flat piece of polycarbonate that uh, went over the top and that looks pretty rudimentary and, it's, and it was good for mocking up but what we want to do is we want to do something like this yeah I know it's black chill out for a second um, <laughs> so we 3d printed a shaped uh, polycarbonate and uh, for a polycarbonate uh, lens and then what we did was we did a rudimentary test where we took some polycarbonate and we shaped it around that form. One of the things I wanted to see is, is if we actually heated up the polycarbonate and shaped it around that form that it wouldn't uh, actually distort the form. It didn't. Um, so we got a pseudo piece of crap lens. But th again, this was just a test. So we wanted to test if we could leave the uh, film that was on the part uh, so that we wouldn't get any scratches on it. 
Um, on this film here, the thicker film, uh, that peels off great. Um, the thinner film or clear film that's on the top, not so much. Uh, it has basically adhered to the polycarbonate. So we're going to keep uh, banging away at this one and uh, try to get ourselves a shaped lens. So as you can see here, it uh, is going to fit on top of the uh, actual tail light. So that's how that's going to work. And then we have to get back to our headlights. And we'll do the same thing with the polycarbonate on the headlights as well. And then the polycarbonate headlights and taillights will get a clear coating, the 2K clear, uh, to toughen them up because uh, polycarbonate is prone to scratching. Okay, so um, that's a, a another update. Um, we still have a lot of work to do. Um, hey, if you guys want one of them funny t-shirts, uh, uh, go ahead and click the icon on the far right on the banner. Uh, that goes to Custom Ink, and uh, the uh, designs are uploaded there for uh, you wouldn't download a car, would you? <laughs> anyway, a little bit of fun. Uh, so if you guys want those, uh, again, a shout out to Brett for doing the artwork on that one. Um, might have some exciting news um, coming soon. Uh, so wait for it. Next week, we're going to have some an interesting uh, interaction and uh, I'll tell you about that uh, once I know more uh, next week so yeah I know I hate cliffhangers too anyway thanks again for watching guys subscribe if you haven't already uh, and we'll see you next time